in for it. Uh, it's what I do. I spend my life looking into people's immune systems. So, uh, how many people would like to get sick? No. Yeah, we don't need to put hands here, right? It's not really what we want to do. So, when we get sick, we lose productivity, right? Maybe if we're working for a company, maybe we get some sick days, and so we can take those sick days and we get paid, but would you, wouldn't you rather use those sick days to spend with your family, your kids, and have just a day off to go do something rather than be laying in bed and being sick? I know I would. Um, but somebody like me, I work for myself. I have my own business. So when I get sick and I don't go to work, I don't make money. And that's big dollars for me. And I don't want that to happen. So what I want to do is I want to do something for myself to make sure I don't get sick. All right? But then we can take it even further and go beyond that because, okay, we're talking about colds and flus and things like that. All right, we missed a few days here or there. But what about if we get some type of catastrophic illness? What if we get something that debilitates us where we can't function in life? We saw many testimonials about people who couldn't function in life. What do you do then? Do you want to wait until you're in that position and try to figure out what to do? Or do you want to do, to do something for yourself so you never get in that position? Yeah. And that's where you know, I want to be, is I want to do something for my, my health to prevent myself from ever having to, to deal with that. So let me tell you a little bit about myself and why I'm up here speaking today and what qualifies me to be up here speaking about something like Inforce. And I, like Joe, uh, have a, a very hard time standing in place. Um, I have a lot of energy, and I'm worried about that blood vessel popping today, so you guys there on the front row. Because generally when the energy gets up high, I walk. And that's released so good. But now I'm stuck right here by the microphone. But hopefully we won't just splatter you guys there on the front row. But what, what I did is I got into chiropractic. I got into chiropractic because I believe in the model of chiropractic. I believe that the body has the ability to heal itself. God gave it that ability, woven inside of us, all right? And so what I wanted to do is access that for people. And what I started doing, I, I started talking to a lot of old chiropractors, been around in business for a long time, and you hear all these great testimonials about people had some type of debilitating disease, they go in, they get their adjustment, and their whole entire life changed. And you hear these great testimonials after testimonials. And it's wonderful. It's what really got me excited about getting into chiropractic. But then what I found out are a lot of these testimonials are all very old testimonials. Those aren't the testimonials that we're seeing today by patients. Today what's happening is people are sicker and sicker today than what they were 20 years ago. And you're no longer going into a chiropractor getting adjustment and these profound changes are being made. Now that still happens. But that's not the norm, where before that was the norm. So as I started treating patients, and I would see patients where I would give them adjustment, they would feel great, but then by the time they walked to their car, they would be, uh, I wasn't feeling so good. So my advice to them was to walk faster. <laughs> so what I, wanted to do, what I wanted to do is I wanted to figure out how I could, what was going wrong in this person? Why wasn't I getting them better for the long term? Right? So what I found out was that people had inherent underlying immune dysfunction taking place. And it was this inflammatory process from the immune system that was taking place inside their body wasn't allowing me as a chiropractor to really help them. It was why I would help them short term, but they would go right back and suffer from whatever it was that they were suffering from. So in me, in the person that I am, you got to understand, <clears throat> chiropractic isn't my first career. My first career was in a family business where I was making 200000 plus a year, and I was in a position to where I could wake up in the morning and decide if I wanted to go to business to work or not. Mm. I could go on a vacation. I just had somebody call me up and say, hey, let's go uh, to Aruba for three weeks. I'll be, okay, I'm on, let's go. And I would go. I had that kind of autonomy. And you know what? I had nothing that was fulfilling me inside. Mm. So what I decided to do was to walk away from that in order to get into a line of business to where I could help people because that's where my heart was. And if we're doing something 
where our heart is not in it, then it doesn't matter how much money we make. Sure. It's like I love about what Steve talks about. It's not about, it's great when we look at making the 200 and some thousand dollars that we could make, but what about the hundreds of thousands of people that we could change their lives? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So for me, what I started doing is it wasn't acceptable for me to have patients that weren't getting better. It wasn't acceptable that someone would come to me and I could make them feel better temporarily, but I wasn't changing their lives. So I studied and I studied and I dug and I tried to figure out what is going wrong here. And that's what led me into realizing it, it's this, this immune system dysfunction that's taking place in almost all of these patients. That's the common denominator. So that's what led me to study and dive into the immune system to understand the immune system. I treat almost exclusively autoimmune conditions in my office. When we talk about autoimmune conditions, we're talking about where the immune system is turned on itself and is attacking itself. All right? So you're diagnosed with ulcerative colitis? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So when we look at ulcerative colitis, it is an autoimmune condition. It's a condition where the immune system is attacking the intestines and destroying it. Okay, but yet, you know, that you go from doctor to doctor to doctor, and what do they have? They, they didn't know that. Yeah, and what do they do for you? They try to give you medication to help your symptoms, right? right? So let's right. take the symptoms away, right? So this bottle of medication, I like to use this example. I think it's an example we can all relate to. Let's say you're driving down the freeway, and your check engine light comes on, all right? That's telling you there's a problem with your engine. Okay, that's not the problem, that's the sign, that's the, that's the warning sign, saying something is wrong, all right? We can take that bottle of medication that the doctor wanted to give you, and we can place it on our dashboard in front of that check engine light. <laughs> <laughs> right? We don't see the light anymore, right? But does that mean that the problem is gone? No, we're going to continue to drive down the road, and eventually the engine's going to blow up. Right? So we want to take care of the underlying problem. All right? So in, in my, the work that I do, the, the average patient that I see has seen somewhere around 20 to 30 practitioners before they walk into my door. I see mostly people who have gone to the Mayo Clinic, spent two weeks at the Mayo Clinic, been worked up by every specialist that was there, and Either they gave them some bogus diagnosis, or they just uh, threw their hands up and said, we have no idea what's wrong with you. So now when you go to the Mayo Clinic, and nobody knows what's wrong with you, where do you go? I mean, that's the best our country has to offer. So what, where do these people go? Um, these are the people that I see. And what I do is I don't treat conditions. I don't treat alternate colitis, okay? I don't treat multiple sclerosis. What I do is I treat people who have ulcerative colitis. I treat people who have multiple sclerosis. There isn't one thing. You know, now they have these drugs for multiple sclerosis, all right? They have drugs for ulcerative colitis that they give, right? But that's assuming that every single person that has multiple sclerosis or has ulcerative colitis has the same exact problem. That's not true. That's not true. Everyone is a unique individual and has different things that are going on. But I'll tell you what the common denominator is, is a dysfunction in the immune system. Almost all these complicated cases that I see of people who have no diagnosis, no hope out there, they've been from doctor to doctor, they've taken, you've seen the testimonies of people who have taken the medication and it hasn't helped them. They have nowhere to go. People like, I always call them uh, bogus diagnoses or lazy doctor diagnoses. When people are diagnosed with things like fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome. Mm -hmm. if, and if you know somebody who has that <laughs> diagnosis or you, maybe you do yourself, that's because your doctor is lazy and doesn't want to find out the problem, okay? Chronic fatigue, that means that you have fatigue all the time, okay? You could have told the doctor that. You didn't need the doctor to tell you that, okay? So that's what it means. So the question is, why? Why? Well, I don't know. We just have people that have chronic fatigue. You know, you have to learn to live with it. 
Um, I have fibromyalgia. Fibro 